Hi everyone. Grab your <laughs> your comfy pillows and let's get started on story time. Today's story is called Dear Everybody Admit There's Hurt Dressing Grief. What does grief mean? Hmm. Let's find out. Draw a picture that shows what grief looks like. What did they draw? What do you think that's a picture of? A giraffe. And they said, what does a giraffe have to do with me losing somebody close to me? This is really hard. Oh, not a giraffe. Can you please tell me more? Giraffe, you mean grief. Can we say that word together? Grief, grief, grief. Grief is an emotion that everyone feels. When somebody you love leaves or dies. It is a feeling of sadness. You might feel sad. Sometimes people might cry. Sometimes people are angry. Sometimes people want to be alone. They don't want anyone around. And sometimes people want to be with lots of other people who help them understand what happened. So when you feel grief, it's a feeling of sadness. You might cry, you might get angry, you might want to be alone, or you might want a lot of people around to help. You will hear people say, sorry for your loss. This person is not lost and you did not lose them. Your life, it will change. They, they're not, they're no longer here. And how does that make you feel? Death, it might be hard to talk about, but it's a part of life. Everything is born, lives, and then dies. And it's important to talk about all three of those parts of life. Holding my hand again, making me laugh again. They're too far away. I'm trying to imagine them. This friend is writing what they're feeling. They said, holding my hand again so they can't hold their hand, making me laugh again. They can't laugh with that person. They are too far away. They're not around anymore. I'm trying to imagine them thinking about what they look like. That might be, that sounds like it might be a hard thing to do. Those feelings might be hard to feel. You will miss everything about them. Their love, their smile, their help, their hugs, the sound of their voice. Talk with someone and share what you miss the most. Think about what it would be like if they were still with you, cheering you on as you continue to grow. So they might not be around anymore, but you can still talk about them and write about them and think about them. If I got the chance to see what my loved one could see, my tears might get in the way. Oof, this is too much for me. This friend 
is crying. It's a lot of feelings because someone is not around anymore. It's a lot of feelings. They're saying, it's just too much, too much, too much to feel. It can be hard to believe that someone you love is gone. You may feel angry. One day you might feel fine and one day you will just want to cry. Your feelings will change from day to day. In time, the tears and will the tears and pain end? No one will be able to tell you when. But for everyone, it's different. So it might be soon, it might be later. Everyone feels and goes through those feelings at different speeds and tempos. Some people feel through things really fast. Some people feel through a medium pace. And other friends might take a little bit longer. And that's okay. However long it takes to let your pain and your crying and your anger feel and go through your body, it's okay. However long or short that takes. You go at your own tempo, your own speed. Will you keep loving me? This is hard to believe. Sometimes I have scary dreams. Please help me keep my memories. So this friend, someone is leaving and they're having a lot of scary dreams about them leaving. And they're worried they won't remember everything about this other person. And they're asking for some help. They're feeling scared. There will be someone who will listen when you need to talk, who will be there when you need to let the pain show. All emotions have energy. Grief may wake you up from your sleep. You might feel scared or alone even when other people are there. Keep a picture, an item that belonged to your loved one, or something to remind you of who they are. drawing about their feelings. Like a giraffe that can reach the trees, grief stretches over all kinds of feelings. As I grow, I learn and see being without them, without this person who had to leave, is my new reality. It's okay to cry. Let's say that together. It's okay it's okay to cry, to cry. It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. Tears let you know that you have feelings. Tears are a release you let go of energy. Tears do not always mean you are sad or lonely. Many people cry when they're happy or excited, it really is okay to cry. That's how you know you are alive. Crying can mean a lot of different things, from sad, to worried, to angry, to happy, to feeling grief, that sadness, that lost feeling, to even being so excited you have happy tears. It's okay to cry. It's a release, you're letting go of energy, showing that you are alive. You are human after all. All humans have emotions. All emotions work together and help you know who you are. You are strong and special. Grief will not last forever. Tears and laughter go hand in hand to help you express all the feelings you can. 
And then we have some words that talk about grief. Would you like to read them with me? Okay. G is for grateful. R is for rhythm. I is for imagination. E is for empathy. And F is for forgiveness. For the adults, I am going to link Erica Wortherly's resources in the description below because everyone feels grief and she offers a lot of amazing resources and support for adults, teenagers, kids, anyone who feels grief. <laughs> and my friends that are reading with me, let's finish off with some loving breath. Because today we talked about when someone has to leave or dies or just isn't around anymore. And that might bring up some hard feelings. Some feelings that might be sadness or anger or fear or worry. Or maybe you feel happy that they're in a peaceful place now. Whatever you might be feeling right now, let's do three loving breaths. So my loving breaths today, usually we do loving breaths where we reach out and we give ourselves a hug. I have a friend who taught me a new way to do a loving breath and I thought we could try it out together. We make a heart by doing it. Okay, so we're going to start, hands together. Ready? We'll clap our hands together. Three, two, one, clap. Nice. And you're going to reach your arms out in front of you and point them down to the ground. Point your hands down to the ground. Nice. And when we breathe in, we're going to bring our hands up. So watch me first. We're going to go just like that. Let's try it together. Point your fingers down to the ground and breathe in. Bring them up. And breathe out. Point down. Nice. We're going to breathe in and then out in a hug and bring our hands above us. So it goes breathe in. Breathe out. So we're going to breathe in, bring up, breathe out, point to the sky. <laughs> Ready? We'll practice one. <laughs> one. <laughs> breathe in, point into the ground. Breathe out, point to the sky. <sighs> nice. And bring it back down and point to the ground. Let's try that again. Bring your hands back to point to the ground. Breathe in, bring them up. Breathe out, point up. Breathe in, bring them back down. Breathe out. Let's do one. So it goes in, out, in, out. Ready? Breathe in, bring your hands up. Breathe out, point to the sky. Breathe in, point to the ground. Breathe out, point to the ground. Nice. Let's do one more. Breathe in, bring your hands up. Breathe out, point to the sky. Breathe in, hands down to the ground. Breathe out, point to the ground. Nice. Place both hands in front of your face. Rub them together as fast as you can, as fast as you can. Create that energy that Erica, our author, was talking about. Create that energy in your hands. Your hands will warm up. Fast, 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 fast. And place all that energy that we just made on your heart. Oh, it's hot. Hold your heart. Make sure you feel it and you're not just holding your, your chest. Feel for the thumping, for your heartbeat, for the rhythm. Repeat after me. I am alive. I am alive. Nice. I am important. I am important. Next one. My feelings matter. My feelings matter. It's okay 
to cry. It's okay to cry. Feelings make me human. Ready? Feelings make me human. <laughs> We're going to say that three times. Let's say it together. Feelings make me human. Hold your heart for number two. Feelings make me human. Reach your arms out as wide as you can. Give yourself a big hug and say it together with me one more time for our third time. Feelings make mm, big hug me human. <laughs> Thanks for reading with me today, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye.